we have already studied two concepts related to quality that were quality control and quality assurance we are going to study another two today one is called tqm total quality management total quality management let's define that and then two three other things that are related with the quality manage uh, total quality management we'll study that too we talk about the total quality management this is the process of continuous improvement like kaizen Okay, which we're talking about total quality management, the third technique of the quality improvement process, TQM. Uh, I've defined total quality management with the continuous improvement with employees responsible for quality of their own part in the process. I told you this is related to the concept of Kaizen too. In the total quality management, when one department passes the product to the other department, the one department considers the other as internal customer. So just imagine that if we are giving, providing, selling a product to a customer, we will ensure the quality of that product in every possible way so that the product might not come back. Similarly, when we are selling the product, we are giving the product to the other department. If we and make sure that the, if we believe that the other department is internal customer, we will also make sure that the product that we are giving to the other department is zero defective, is not having any quality problems so that the other department might use it with perfect, with perfectly fine ways. In this TQM, there are three major things that are used. There are three major factors that are considered. One is called quality chains. We'll be talking about the quality chains. Second is the uh, quality circles. And the third is the internal customers. Let's talk about what is quality chain first. Quality chain is setting up a procedure so that the parts of the procedure can be identified as internal customers. Setting up a procedure. Let me write it for you. So that the parts of the procedure Are considered internal customers. Like in a car manufacturing factory, the uh, department that is manufacturing uh, the uh, body of the car, uh, the exterior of the car will be considered the department of assembling as the internal customer. So that when the interior and the exterior of car will be delivered to that assembly department, it will be zero defective. It won't be having any problems in that. Then we have uh, uh, quality circles. Group of employees who meet regularly. We have already studied in motivation in A1 message, by the way. Group of customers, a group of employees who meet daily. Or regularly, if not daily, to discuss the work related issues. work related issues and problems to identify the potential improvement improvements If you remember quality circles, we have already studied these quality circles in uh, in A1 and it's the 
employees of the business um, related to manufacturing especially who are meeting and discussing what problems they are facing in the quality control of the business so that they because they are the best judge of the quality they are making the product actually so they can best describe the quality problems and they can try to improve they can give their suggestions to the senior management and senior management can try to improve the quality of the ultimate product and then the third uh, term that we studied earlier is the internal customers Although when I was teaching quality chains, I discussed a little about the internal customers, but still let's define that. The part of process where the output of one part, part of process where the output of one part where the output of one part of process is dependent on another part. For quality. So that's why they are the customers for the preceding department. So just imagine that you are selling a product to the customer. You will make every possible thing to you will ensure every possible matter that the product that is being delivered to the internal customer is best of the quality and it is not having any defects in there. This is the reason when we produce the quality by while using TQM total quality management technique, where the uh, objective of every employee of every department in the business organization becomes the improvement of quality. I repeat. In the TQM, the objective of every employee of every department in the organization becomes the improvement of the quality. Because of this, when the products are manufactured in the TQM chain, when the products are manufactured by using this quality improvement techniques, we actually produce a zero defective products inside the organization. And as a result of TQM, the satisfaction of the customer is highest in all the quality uh, control and quality assurance chains because uh, um, it's a very rare chance that the customer will get a product faulty. Okay, this was the introduction of TQM.